Let's go live now to the member for Wentworth, Allegra Spender. Thank you for your time. It's been a few days now since the government confirmed its backflip on the, the tax cuts. What are you picking up from your constituents? Look, I think I'm getting a variety of responses from the constituents. I think there are some people who are definitely going to benefit and they appreciate it. However, in Wentworth, there's actually a substantial group of people where it's going to cost them by not having the anticipated tax cuts. Now, some of those people are saying, look, I can afford to, to give this to the rest of the community. That's OK. And then other people are saying, I banked this. You know, I did my budget. This is paying for my rents. This is paying for my increased childcare costs. This is paying for my mortgage. This is what I was expecting. And I think those are the ones that are most upset, I think, with the government for this backflip and particularly for the timing, the fact that this is the end of January. This is meant to start on the 1st of July. And you know, they've been listening to the government time and time again say, hey, there will be no changes. And they took the government on its word. What will you do when it comes to the vote in the House of Reps? Look, I'm still trying to get that understanding from the community. So I'm going to be out tomorrow into um, you know my into the difference of transport hubs. I've already got 1,200 survey responses, and I'm trying to get more because I'm really trying to get a sense of you know as a community independent, what do my community want me to do on this? Because it's it's fundamentally different to the choices that they had at at the election, you know. But what I'm also hearing from my community is to say, look, I you know they're saying. We don't think that the government is serious about broader tax reform, and that's actually the stuff that I think a lot of people here want to deal with because they say, you know, I see how this yeah. can help people right now, but what is it going to do about housing costs in the long term? What about productivity and wages in the long term? We've got some big issues that the economy is facing and the government and the opposition will not front up and say tax is part of that solution. We need to look into it. Continue the, government really the, the member for... Curtin, uh, Kate Cheney, member for Kuyong, Monique Ryan, uh, other independents, they, they've uh, su suggested that their electorate, or at least uh, a, a large chunk of their electorate, support the fairness side of this. Is that something you're picking up as well, that, that your constituents do like the fairness element, albeit of a, a very clear broken promise, but the, the adjustment does help lower and middle income earners? Look, I think a lot of my community cares about you know the my community cares about the rest of the country whether or not they're all on this we're all on the same income or not and I think that you know there as I said there are a lot of my community who said look I would have benefited from the original tax cut um but I I want to help people now because you know I recognize everybody here recognizes that you know housing costs have gone up substantially grocery costs are going up you know these costs are going up significantly and they're hurting families and and some really vulnerable families are making really hard choices so so I think that people are responding to that. But they're also saying, you know, for some of my community, hey, I was banking on this. And the other parts are saying, well, look, should we be looking at other mechanisms to make sure that we can just not just address the cost of living now in the short term, but also in the long term? And, you know, the fairness piece comes up also where people are saying, look, yeah. you know, I feel like as a young person, I'm, I've got a really high mortgage, I've got a high hex debt, I'm paying really high fees and things like my childcare. Um, and I see, you know, other generations who, ha who seem to be going through much more easily than I am right now. And have we got that intergenerational piece right? And I don't think we have. Just finally, we're almost out of time, but I remember before the last election, we had the Wentworth debate with, with you, Dave Sharma, were at the SCG. Yeah. And, and from that point on, <laughs> even before that, I guess, you've been arguing that there needs to be integrity in politics. Politicians need to do what they say. This obviously feeds into that. How, how is that integrity question being received and does the Prime Minister lose a bit of bark through this process? Look, I think there are a lot of people who are saying, yeah, he broke a promise. As I said, there are some people who say, you know, he should have, but I think there are also a lot of people saying, why right now? You know, it was only last week or the week before that he was saying it wasn't going to change. You know, if they, you're going to make such a fundamental change, couldn't you have done this earlier? Um, you know, and I, and I, it, because it is a fundamental change, you know, there, this is an issue of integrity. And I think that's the other reason why I'm pushing tax reform now, because I don't believe that people are going to believe the government if they say at the next election, we're not going to touch taxes. They're going to have to be much more upfront about what they want to do on taxes. And frankly, they need to have a strong tax agenda on the policy. So, yeah, I do think integrity definitely is an issue. And for some of my community, you know, this is a really big black mark against Albo. Allegra Spender, we'll talk to you soon. Appreciate it. Thanks so much.